Hi there, Schmick Mick here with SquashFitnessTips.com and welcome to Try Out Tuesday. In this episode, I'm going to be trying out Chris Moe's ghosting routine. Now, Chris Moe is a friend of mine from where I grew up when I was little. And the ghosting routine is like so. We're gonna do normal ghosting to the six points, just standard six points, nothing too fancy or too out, out, out of the box. It's gonna be five reps of one minute of ghosting with 30 seconds in, of break between each one minute. And we're gonna do that five reps three times. After the fifth rep, there's gonna be a two minute break between the set. Same as after the second set. So I've just done the 30 day 1000 squash lunge challenge. Actually, it's been about two or three weeks since I finished. So I'm gonna take this as a sort of a, a controlled exercise. I'm gonna try and keep the same control that I had in my lunges in the ghosting. I'm not gonna try and go all out. It's not gonna be a fully out of breath uh, exercise, but I'm gonna try and move with the same control that I had with the lunges. So I've got his workout here. I've also set up a court. I don't know if you can see these things. I set that up on the corners of the courts and the service boxes and the tea. My good friend Nejat uh, in Istanbul, he uh, created these for me. Very appreciative, thank you very much Nejat. And I'm using my phone for the timer. Usually I've got a little beeper timer, I can't find it, so I'm just using the timer on my phone. So I'm gonna, I've set it at one minute. Uh, it might be a little bit of a, a hassle to sort of look at it and start it. Normally I'd have a little timer thing here where it just beeps and you can set it for one minute, 30 sec one minute and 30 seconds. Uh, but I've got the phone for now. So let's see how we go. Five reps of the first set. Now I'm having a two minute break. I get some water. So, that first one, I was a little bit ginger because it's slippery. Haven't done any movement like this in a long time. So that back corner on the forehand side, for all of them I was doing traditional legs, a closed stance. So on the forehand down the back, I was stepping like this which means off the tee, you've got to step this way, one, two, three. Automatically and more efficiently, I always step right leg, so then I was getting caught out with the footwork. This set of five reps, I'm gonna try and go with an open stance in all six corners of the court. So forehand, right side, backhand, left leg. That's one minute. I've got one more minute. Have some water. I forgot this last week in 
try out Tuesday when I was doing Nick Matthews Power of 10. Very glad that I've got it today because it's hot and sunny. So, I've got one more minute break. Apart from sweat going in my eyes, I think I'm noticing I've got a bit of a stitch, which means I'm not breathing as efficiently or economically as I could be. So in this last set of five reps of uh, ghosting, on my lunge I'm gonna focus on the out breath. And make sure I'm engaging both sides evenly as I breathe out. That's my goal, as well as trying to focus on the split step after each uh, time I go to a corner. 25 seconds.
things I picked up from that workout that I personally can focus on in my next session. One, breathing out as I lunge. I was thinking about the footwork a bit too much and I wasn't concentrating on that. Breath out as you lunge. That's going to let you automatically breathe in when you come back up. That's one. Second one, split step. After each time I come back to the tee, I can emphasize the split step a little bit more rather than just going dun dun, come back, boosh, split step. In the last two reps there, I was imagining more where the ball was going, as if I was hitting the ball, as if my opponent was hitting the ball. And that was allowing me just to take my time back at the tee, to reset on the, on the split step, and then continue. Really important to imagine. See where you're hitting the ball, see where it's going, see where the opponent hits the ball. Then you can start to mix it up. You don't necessarily have to go front, front, right, front, left, middle, right, middle, left. In that pattern, you can go front, lob, and then come across for a volley. Lob, volley, you can mix it up a little bit if you're actually imagining like you're playing a match. The third thing for me that session was, just because the ground was slippery, quite a few times I tried to go deeper into the lunge, as if I was doing the 30 day 1000 squash lunge challenge, going right down. Most times I did that, I would slide. You saw it down the back uh, on the forehand side. So I had to sort of take it fairly easy. So it's really important to modulate your session. Don't have a preconceived idea of what you want to do. Sometimes it doesn't work out. You've got to do what you can in the session. Overall for that, that's a pretty good uh, time set for the ghosting. Again, I wasn't pushing myself 100%. So I wasn't feeling it that much, particularly in my legs, I wasn't feeling it. A Little bit of a stitch there. That's that breathing out as you lunge. But the th good thing about this one is, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. If you're working on control, just go using the patterns, lunging, coming back, split step, going a little bit slower in control, or you can just go a full out cardio session where you're trying to push yourself, high intensity interval training. So it's all in all, pretty good time set. So uh, thank you to Chris Ho for suggesting me that uh, workout. He actually did a couple of days of the 1000 squash lunge challenge with me, posted a couple of videos so you can check that out on my Facebook page. So great effort there by Chris and thanks again for the uh, ghosting drill workout. So that's episode three of Tryout Tuesday. Thank you Chris Mo. and let me know how you go with the workout. Try it in the park, on a basketball court, in your garden, anywhere you can. Doesn't have to be a squash court. In the description let me know how you go. Let me know what you think about the workout. Schmick Mickey with squashfitnesstips.com. Have fun and play your own game. Hey, 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 gotta get that ball.